cutest car on the block has been given a mini makeover for 2016. But don't worry because everything we love about the Fiat 500 prevails. The retro looks, the old school interior and even more personalisation options this time around. In fact, you'd probably have to be a pretty hardcore fan to spot those exterior differences which include some new bumpers and a rearrangement of the head and taillights. What has changed for the better however is quality and comfort with a noticeable improvement in the cabin materials and more support from the front seats. Unfortunately though there's still no reach adjustment in the steering wheel so you will have to rely on adjustment in the seat to get as close as you need but luckily enough there is plenty of that. And for all its cheeky charm the 500 can be quite a practical little car. Okay so the boot is not huge at 185 litres but it is usable with space enough for a good day at the shops. And for a very good day you can fold the back seats down to extend that further again. Once they're back up, there's just about enough room for two adults, the lack of a third seatbelt making it strictly a four-seater. There's also Isofix anchors for child seats, although the fact that it only comes in a two-door means it might not be the most practical choice of family car. And nor does it claim to be, this is a fun city car aimed at a young market and inside the cabin is as bright and cheery as the outside. The colour-coded dash and circular headrest along with the old-school speedometer and high-mounted gear stick match its cool, understated retro image. They've also managed to squeeze in a surprising amount of storage with a decent sized glove box, side door bins and those all important cup holders. And while it might have a retro look, the technology on board is anything but, with the introduction of this new Uconnect system with all the latest in smartphone and app streaming connectivity. It is a little on the small side compared to some rivals, but it fits in well with the old school styling and can also be equipped with DAB digital radio and sat nav. That will now be a standard feature on the entry-level pop model, along with steering wheel mounted controls and new LED daytime running lights, starting at €13,600. But that's not the one you'll want though, because you'll have to upgrade to the Pop Star if you want alloy wheels and aircon, which you obviously will, and that starts at a more realistic €14,700. Top of the line lounge models like this one get more styling upgrades like a chrome kit, 15 inch wheels and a leather steering wheel. As well as a sunroof, upgraded infotainment and parking sensors. Although we're not really sure if you'll need those seeing as not only is it the size of a shoe, visibility out the sides and rear is really good anyway. It is as fun to drive as it looks, not in the sense that it's in any ways fast or powerful, but it's just so small and light that it makes you feel you could whiz in and out of anywhere. And the light steering adds to that nice nippy feel. It also makes it really easy to park and the tiny turning circle makes it great for negotiating tighter spaces. This is the 1.2 litre 4 cylinder petrol engine with 69 HP which can apparently return up to 51 miles to the gallon. And the CO2 emissions are so low then that it costs just 190 euros a year to tax. So overall the running costs are as small as the car itself. There is a nippier 0.9 litre twin air turbocharged petrol engine available with either 85 or 105 HP. Now I have driven the latter and while I have to say it is a bit more fun, it's always good crack having that much power in such a small package, but there is quite a large premium attached and it'll cost about an extra three to four thousand euro to get into one of them because you can only get them in the highest spec. Fiat have also decided that diesels can be cute too and a 1.3 litre N-Jet completes the lineup with 95 HP and an incredible claim fuel economy of 83 miles to the gallon. For the city drivers the car is aimed at though, the one that's going to make the most sense is this 1.2 litre petrol, which by a happy coincidence is also the most affordable. Then finally, well image is all well and good, nobody cares how cute their car is in the event of an accident. So I'm happy to report that the 500 is actually one of the safest small cars on the road too. With a full 5 star NCAP safety rating, which isn't that common in this class, sporting no less than 7 airbags including one for the driver's knees. So you can rest assured that it's not all about the looks and those low running costs and city friendly driving features mean it's much much more than just a pretty face. You can check it out for yourself at your local Fiat dealer or browse a huge range of used models over on our site from the largest selection of dealers in Ireland. I've been Sinead for carsireland.ie